Just a few weeks after a teenage boy was attacked by a shark in Encinitas, we're getting a look at new technology that could prevent attacks altogether. Our Ten News anchor Lindsay Pena has more on a new high-tech shark detection system already being tested off the Southern California coast. Kim and Steve, it's actually a new type of buoy, and the people behind it say that if it works the way it's supposed to, it could be a game changer for ocean safety. This buoy off the Balboa Pier in Newport Beach may look ordinary, but it's creating a virtual net in the water. It's using high-tech sonar to detect sharks. You can't see through it, and you can't see it under it. So this is just another tool that gives people eyes under the water that they've never had before. Craig Anderson is the founder of Australian company Smart Marine Systems. They created Clever Buoy, which uses multi-beam sonar technology to create 3D imagery of what's below the surface. It will provide information about that animal, its size, its location, uh, and the direction that it's heading in. And its swim pattern, which is how the computer knows if a shark is close. The system then sends an alert to lifeguards so they can verify and warn swimmers or even close the beach. Provide warnings to swimmers before the shark and them share the same proximity. Um, so it really just speeds up the process a lot. The launch comes just two weeks after 13-year-old Keen Hayes was attacked by a shark in Encinitas. Just this week, DNA from his wetsuit confirming that shark was a great white. Hayes was lobster diving when the shark bit him on his arm, back, shoulder and face. Another shark bite survivor who was attacked in Corona Del Mar last year thinks the new buoys could definitely help prevent tragedy. Knowledge to say, okay, something's out there, what is it? And if it is a shark, let's, let's be prudent, let's be proactive, and let's um, keep people safe. Clever Buoy also records weather and water temperature data. This trial is expected to last about 60 days. In the newsroom, Lindsay Pena, 10 News.